Thank you. Um, most of my stuff is pretty depressing, so that's actually the funniest thing I ever wrote. <laughs> Sorry. This one is called The uh, Totemism of Hunger. Then there came a time when I was seeing jaws in everything. In my hand, can openers, pruning shears, doors, window jams, everything. The animal heads of the old gods had returned to the inanimate world and I was seeing their anger effectively filling all voids, all shells. The common wood saw even had an eye. But more important, it could know hunger. In such a world as this, it's not unusual to measure dominance by number. For instance, the multiple keys slung from the belt of a sadist. For keys, too, have teeth. And when they fit like a cock in a lock in turn, it can be so, shall we say, ecstatic to know that one is not imprisoned or pariah and is welcome home at last to many mouths. Okay, uh, this next one is... Uh, thanks. This is a rather old poem that I... Uh, this is called Letter from the Street Where You Live. Friend, I am sleeping on the boards this year, ashamed, yet sleeping just the same. My furniture is littered with in carnival beads, where, like a lay monarch in a junk on a junkyard throne or a front porch sentinel awaiting a parade, the next blast of a trumpet in this burning town where music seldom plays, I seem to settle for violence. To the idol of our violent hour introduce me, scalp cropped close, red pastor's collar, fingers that once tracked scripture now hang drum fire, and crescendos of canned laughter seem to fill these streets. I rush outside but lose my bead to undercurrents of insurgency, to the slack jaw breathing on my fire stairs. It abides and it endures. One could almost say that it were shy when it is heard to trip on an untrue shoe, a little embarrassed, a little seductive, over marbled hardness of the million eyes mocking ours. It's too easy to offend now, making all men uncomfortable as their faith allows. Yes, a great faith has housed and defines the space about us. It confines the empty avenue as well as the clamor of weddings, the circus smells of sausages, dead fish, and carnal ire. It's so fluid it swells under the shade, an angry whisper, the split tongue of the hour's administer, primitive justice tripped out in summer fashion. It's tough in the morning to dress the occasion. Still, I'm sleeping on the floor just to stay. Say, it stiffens my joints, prolonging the illusion Indeed, any drama possible to a hoped-for conclusion. And that laughter that you hear, cops, lovers, pushers, this wounded body earned in pathos is ours, dear friend. Write back in righteous anger. Save us if you can. All right, I'll just... Uh... I'm going to do two more. This one... Uh... 